thejbeans.net. Bermuda is a British island territory located in the Atlantic Ocean. Known for its pink sand beaches, Bermuda is a destination for almost 200 cruise ships each year, and many ships stay docked for multiple days. In this video, we'll provide an overview of the Royal Naval Dockyard, which is where our ship, the Celebrity Summit, docked for three days in August of 2019. The Royal Naval Dockyard is located at the western end of Bermuda and is sometimes referred to as King's Wharf or Heritage Wharf. The dockyard is home to restaurants, shopping, attractions, the Clock Tower Mall, and many transportation options for exploring Bermuda on your own. For more information on Bermuda's transportation system, check out the video from our first day in Bermuda. After leaving your ship and walking toward the dockyard, you'll soon find several taxis and minibuses available for transportation and tours. Near the taxi and minibus area is a tour company that specializes in water sport activities, as well as a stop for the free shuttle train that can take you to several key locations throughout the dockyard. A large sign located just before the main gate to the dockyard points the way for popular destinations such as the ferries to Hamilton and St. George's, the Clock Tower Mall, and the Maritime Museum. Take note that directional signage is plentiful throughout the dockyard, and many of the signs also include maps. After you walk through the main gate, Public restrooms are located immediately on your right. Roughly straight ahead and a bit to the left from the main gate is Bone Fish Bar and Grill, which should not be confused with a U.S.-based chain restaurant with a very similar name. Continuing left along Dockyard Terrace, you'll soon find the docks for the St. George's and Hamilton Ferries, as well as the Visitor Services Center on the left side of the road. Just past the Visitor Services Center on the left side of the road is the Rum Barrel, which sells duty-free Bermudian rum, apparel, and souvenirs. A little further down the road from the Rum Barrel is an ice cream shop that advertises free Wi-Fi with any purchase. The shop seemed to be a crew favorite for getting a Wi-Fi connection during our visit. On the right side of Dockyard Terrace, just past the Bonefish Bar and Grill, you'll find the Crown and Anchor and Island Outfitters apparel shops. Just past the apparel shops is Locked on the Rock, a TripAdvisor Certificate of Excellence award winner that claims to be the first and only true Bermudian-themed escape room experience. More public restrooms are located around the corner from the bistro next door to the escape room, toward the Vitaling Yard. Bermuda's Vitaling Yard was used to store, prepare, and package food and drink for the Royal Naval Fleet. Continuing to the end of Dockyard Terrace and turning right at the T intersection onto Maritime Lane, you'll find Dockyard Glassworks and the Bermuda Rum Cake Company. Both are located in the same building, so you can enjoy a sample of rum cake as you explore the handmade glass plates, bowls, vases, sculptures, and more. The building has a fairly large glass-making studio, but we didn't see anybody working with the glass during our visit. A bit further down Maritime Lane, you'll find the Fun Zone, which is home to Bermuda Fun Golf and Snorkel Park Beach. Bermuda Fun Golf is an 18-hole miniature golf course that also features a bar and grill and glow-in-the-dark night golf. Snorkel Park Beach has shallow reef snorkeling, water sports, beach rentals, jet skis, and beach volleyball available. During our visit, green chalked footprints on the sidewalks led the way from the cruise ship dock area to the fun zone. 
Continuing on Maritime Lane back toward the cruise ship dock area, the Bermuda Art Center at Dockyard is located on the right side of the road and features working artist studios, galleries, and artwork that is available for purchase. Next door to the Art Center is the Cooperage, which is home to the Frog and Onion Pub and the Bermuda Craft Market, which is a space for local artists to sell their products. On the other side of Maritime Lane, across the street from the Cooperage, is the National Museum of Bermuda. The museum features indoor and outdoor exhibits that explore the maritime and island history of Bermuda. The National Museum is also home to Dolphin Quest, which offers opportunities to swim with dolphins in an ocean water sanctuary. If you go back to the T intersection of Dockyard Terrace and Maritime Lane, near Dockyard Glassworks and the Bermuda Rum Cake Company, and turn left onto Camber Road, you'll find Oleander Cycles, which offers scooter and pedal bike rentals. Further along the road are the John Faulkner Gallery and several apparel and souvenir shops. The Dockyard Pharmacy that is located in this area has souvenirs and much more, such as sandals, snacks, water floats, toys and goggles, medications and first aid supplies, and a cafe. Finally, the Clock Tower Mall is located near the end of Camber Road and is easy to spot from your cruise ship. Just look for the two 100-foot tall clock towers. The mall is home to over 20 shops that sell jewelry, apparel, souvenirs, and much more. And it was quite crowded on the last day of our visit. Even if you're not interested in shopping, the mall can be a great place for a shaded, air-conditioned walk.